Hey everyone, I'm finally back from Japan after my two and a half week trip uh, with my friend Tony where we went cherry blossom chasing throughout six different cities. As you can see here, I bought a lot of souvenirs and most of you are probably coming from the spending the 100,000 yen in Akihabara video where I'm going to unpack most of the goods I have from here along with any other souvenirs that I bought along the way since I thought that would be better in one video. So I'm going to be unpacking um, from both these luggages uh, by category. So I'm going to leave my figures to last since that'll take the most time to unpack. Um, but I'll try to do this by the types of stuff that I bought. So the first category I'll start off with will probably be the, the plushies uh, that I got. So most of them are Pokemon, but I did get the surprising. Uh, stuffy here. I got a whale shark. This was probably the most unexpected purchase uh, from the trip. Um, so I got this from the Osaka Aquarium, uh, which I haven't been to before. I've been to Osaka twice and this was the first time I managed to go to the aquarium. Most of the times I've I go to aquariums, I would get a penguin and put it on my penguin shelf. Uh, this time was a little different because uh, the main exhibit in the Osaka Aquarium is the whale shark. So I figured I had to get something along that theme. Um, so I got a whale shark. So Tony and I managed to hit up six different Pokemon centers. We basically hit one in uh, every city, starting from Fukuoka. So Fukuoka, Hiroshima, Osaka, Kyoto, and there's two locations in Tokyo, but we only hit one of them. I got a small Eevee with the little beads on the top. So I have one of these uh, for all the evolutions, but this one's just Eevee. Uh, this one's gonna go to Eric since he was looking for one of these small little ones, so got Eevee there. Uh, this is the Dragonite plush that I'm giving to my roommate Alex. Uh, this was a very lucky find as uh, there were that many plushes as we expected in all the Pokemon centers that we went to. There was a lot of overlapping merch, so we were basically seeing the same Pokemon at each store. Uh, and Dragonite, I didn't seem to find uh, for those ones, but I managed to get this at Honda Airport uh, literally the day I was leaving, so that was a pretty lucky find. I got the Chansey, which he also wanted. Uh, I got this one at the Don Quixote in Akihabara. Uh, they had Chansey at the other Pokemon centers too, but uh, this was... Uh, I just thought I'd buy it as soon as I saw it, so... And I got a Salamence uh, for my friend Dave. We had to have a long chat over video call to see what he wanted from the Pokemon Mega Center since he's a big fan of the series. But it didn't seem like there was uh, anything too much of interest other than the Salamence. For myself, uh, I just got a Piplup. I think Pip since Piplup's a penguin Pokemon, I figured uh, Piplup would just go on the shelf with all my regular penguins. So, and he's laying down on this one, so I thought that was pretty cute. I also got another penguin. So this is from the uh, Sanrio series, which I don't actually know too much about. I, I just thought this guy was like really cute and squishy. <laughs> this was also a pickup from the Don Quixote in Akihabara. And since he's a penguin theme and blue, I had to get him. I did get another penguin. Uh, this was from the Ami Ami store. Uh, from the, specifically the Sumiko Garashi series. Just a small cute penguin. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if he has a name. Oh, it just says penguin, which is penguin in Japanese, so. Just a small cute penguin to uh, add to the penguin shelf that I have in my room. Uh, so I got... Gengar as well, um, for Alex, so we got, I got this one from Lashenbank, one of the second-hand anime stores. Okay, yeah, this one's not too bad. But it was wrapped up in the packaging, so I, I didn't know how the material was, but this one is not too bad. And the last plush, I, I believe is the last plush that I have in my suitcase is Nessie from uh, Apex Legends. Now, I, I didn't expect this at all, but some of the anime stores had Apex Legends merch, and I figured my friend Chris would like to have a Nessie on his desk or something, so I got him a small Nessie. It, it even has a zipper on the back of it. I'm not sure what it, exactly it's for, but is this just for decoration? I can't even 
unzip it. Maybe it is just for decoration. I, I, I genuinely can't unzip the, the Nessie. I'm not sure if, if it's like that in the original game, but... Okay, so those are all the plushes that I got from Japan. Alright, so the next category that we're going to be trying out uh, is clothes. Um, I didn't buy too many clothes, not as much as Tony, that's for sure. But I did get a couple souvenir shirts along with some unexpected anime uh, related clothing. So I'll just go through that. Uh, so the first souvenir shirt I got was from Kagoshima, uh, specifically the Sanganen uh, Garden. It's going to be a little bit hard to see. Uh, but I got uh, this souvenir shirt at the at the shops near the end, just as Satsuma Spirit. Yeah, I just thought the design was pretty. I also like the pink color. Since we were going during Sakura season, I figured I'd just get a Sakura-related shirt. Uh, I'm probably gonna give this to my dad since I failed to get his uh, Twice magazine uh, at Tower Records when I was in Tokyo. So I, that was the only thing that he wanted from Japan and they ended up selling out. So I'm gonna give him this shirt uh, instead as his uh, souvenir from this trip. So I got, I did get an anime uh, related t-shirt that I didn't expect to get. Uh, it was Place Further Than the Universe t-shirt. Um, this is a 10 out of 10 anime for me, very underrated series. Uh, I don't think that many people have watched this, uh, but it has a special place in my heart, so I had to get this t-shirt for myself. And then finally, I got a Yuru Camp um, hoodie. I'll just quickly put it on. So this one's pretty low key. It just says Yuru Camp on uh, the left here. And then on the back, uh, we have the names of all the characters and the name of the high school that they were at. Uh, I just wanted a low key uh, sweater. The rest of the designs uh, for their uh, clothing I didn't like too much, mostly because of the color scheme, and I just didn't like the, the English wording on it that much as well. Um, so I just kept it as low-key as possible. Um, I believe that was it for the clothing aspect. There were a lot of cool, um, I guess, Demon Slayer merch and more mainstream animes uh, in, term in terms of the clothing. So I went to two stores, uh, Cospa and the G store. Uh, both in Osaka's Denden town and Akihabara, and they had a they had a decent amount of uh, clothing there. So, if you're interested in more mainstream anime and you want more uh, clothing related goods, there definitely recommend that you go there. All right, let's move on to some of the anime goods that I got from Japan. I will start off with the tapestry slash wall scrolls. They were relatively easy to pack, as you can see here. So all of the tapestries I got are all nicely wrapped up in plastic here, so I will undo each of them and we'll see what they look like. So most of the tapestries I got here are from my one of my favorite visual novels of all time. I don't know kind of the four of them. And my favorite character is uh, Misaki, so most of my tapestries uh, will be based around her. I'm not sure how much of that you can see there. I had to grab this one right away. This was part of the 8th anniversary set for the series. Uh, so it's her in a kimono. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to hang these. So the next one is also... Uh, actually, I think all four of my tapestries are for Miko, Misa. Uh, this is her swimsuit version. Uh, this is her in the newest game, uh, Extra 2. Uh, this is one of the CG in the game, um, so I, I had to get this one as well. Final one of uh, Final Tapestry, I swear. Uh, this is the loading screen for Extra 2. I thought this was the prettiest loading screen that the series has ever had. Um, so this was also a must-have for me as well. <laughs> Just in general, like any merch of um, Mizaki in general, I just have to get. It's my favorite girl. So the first tapestry that we just saw was part of the 8th anniversary set. Um, so it was part of this packaging here, so you could see it was, uh, she has the same design. So we'll open this one up. Okay, so um, this is just a normal bag. Um, the 
double sided, so we have Misaki on the front, and then the other heroine, uh, Mashiro, on the back. So we got a bag of goodies that we can unpack here. Uh, I didn't exactly know what was in this set other than the tapestry and the bag, so let's see what there's stuff in here. Okay, so we got uh, a gaming pad with all of the characters from the game. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that this came with it, so awesome. I have two other gaming pads that I'll be unpacking very shortly. So put that down. Clear. So clear files are just, um, they're designs for keeping just normal papers in them. The Japanese merchandise, there's an obsession with clear files for some reason. I'm not, I think they're not the best merchandise, but it is what it is. Uh, so there's a clear file for each of the characters uh, in here. So I'll put that down. Uh, we have an eye mask of uh, one of the little mascots within the game. I'm not sure if I like the material of this eye mask. Uh, I do use eye masks, just, oh, I don't like the material of this. It's, it's too hard. Uh, I need them to be like pretty soft, but it's pretty cute. Uh, we have a keychain of uh, one of the characters in the game. She's one of the, just the side characters, so I'm kind of surprised to see a, a merch of her there. We got another pen, I think. This is pretty exciting. I, did, I, I bought a set and I had no idea what was in it, so this is cool that we get to see, all see this together. Okay, so, got a, so that was a keychain. Sorry, I meant to say keychain. And then this is the pen that came with it. And I, this is the last thing in here. I don't exactly know what it is. Oh, it's really soft. Uh, I, is this a neck warmer? I, I might be really stupid, but I don't exactly know what this is for. Uh, there's a drawstring here that I can use to tighten it up. But it's, yeah, it's a fluffy, really soft, uh, circular, I assume warmer of some kind. I don't really know. Um, it's pretty cute. I'm not sure what I could use this for. But... Alright, so that covers all of the Aonukanta No Four Rhythm goodies. I swear I won't go through any more of that, but this was definitely one of my favorite visual novels. So I, I'm glad I got to pick up all the merch in Japan when I did. Alright, so that covers the visual novel goodies. I'm now going to be opening up the miscellaneous anime goods. So, uh, keychains, pins, just random small, uh, smaller pieces of anime merch that I got from mostly Den Den Town in Osaka and Akihabara in Tokyo. The first pin that I have here is uh, Utaha Kasumu Yaoka from uh, How to Breeze a Boring Girlfriend. So that's just, just a small pin uh, from uh, Lashinbang, the second hand goods store. Also from Lashinbang, I got uh, Ganyu, or Kanu, as that's the Japanese pronunciation. Uh, this is a small letter uh, file holder. I'm not sure how or how, I, I literally have no idea how I'm gonna use this. They really tightly packaged this one. Oh my goodness. Man, I think I need to get scissors. Okay, so here's the... Yeah, it's it's pretty much a small uh, clear file of, uh, of a Ganyu. Yeah, but basically if I spotted any Ganyu merch uh, in Japan and it was like recently priced, I just I just bought it. Okay, so we have a bunch more uh, pins and keychains, so let's go through those. So I got a bunch of them from the gacha ma machines that are like randomly placed through Akihabara and the airport as well when I was leaving. So the first pin, or I guess keychain that we have is a character from the Sumiko Garashi series. I got a bunch of these for my sister since uh, she loves collecting those. So I got a cute one here. Uh, I, I believe this is the duck. I honestly can't remember too much. Uh, next one here. So I got the special uh, Hanada Airport uh, Sumiko Garashi pin. So I got a metal pin here from the airport when I was leaving. More. Hopefully, I didn't pull the same one I did a gotcha system, so I have no idea. I figured it would be more fun to open them here, uh, live unboxing. 
<laughs> okay, so I got one with a bunch of uh, tires on it. I don't really know what that's about, but there's that one. I believe this is the last uh, pen from the airport. Oh my gosh, I actually did get a duplicate. Uh, I guess I'll keep one and I'll give the other one to my sister, because uh, there's no point in me keeping two of those. Oh gosh, I did get another gacha uh, like thing. It's like a little uh, display. Uh, so I got a randomized one for Sumiko Barashi here. Oh, I got the... So it's called the Shirokuma and Furoshiki. So the white bear and the pink pouch. So it's actually right on this box like pretty clearly. So I got that one. I will show footage of me... Uh, or I'll show the final product of it now. Uh, so I don't waste too much time. I got a little postcard of um, some random anime uh, girl from the K Books store. Okay, so uh, Japanese goods. Also, there's a lot of character goods for acrylic stands. Um, so, if you don't know what an acrylic stand is, it's normally a, a cut of the character that you want, and then it's what it is. It's, it stands physically uh, in a 2D shape. So I got a few of those uh, since those are pretty easy to pack and reasonably priced. Depends on what the character you're getting. So normally they're around 10 to 15 dollars or a thousand to fifteen hundred Japanese yen. Um, so I got the official one of Yiwan. Uh, we'll unpack that. Okay, so let's quickly put this together. That's what it looks like. We'll get a close-up of it uh, right now. Uh, so this is the her default design in uh, Genshin Impact when you pull her. So that's she's one of my favorite favorite characters from the game. Uh, so I had to get this one. Sec like, so I got this one from K Books. This is a second-hand acrylic stand of Ganyu. Uh, she's in a casual dress, uh, which I thought was really cute. So. So this one I actually did pay a little bit more for uh, because I, I believe this was limited edition or something. I've never seen it in my life. So there we go. We've got uh, Ganyu's acrylic stand in her casual dress. Yeah, honestly, the, so there's a, there were a lot of other limited edition acrylic stands of some other Genshin characters that had a little bit of a higher price point that I anticipated, so I only got one of them, so Ganyu was my pick. I got the official Genshin pin of uh, Yelan as well, so let's open that up. Alright, so there's the official uh, Yelan pin. Uh, pretty nice, it's her official design, so I'm pretty happy with that. We can continue on with the, the Genshin. So I used the Gacha machines in Akihabara, and I got a uh, Tao pin here. Uh, I'm not, I, I might get killed for this, but I'm not that big of a Hu Tao fan. Uh, so if anyone wants to have this um, pin, <laughs> let me know. I will give it to you for free. Uh, I don't really want it. So, uh, so for that same machine, I rolled two more uh, Liyue characters. Uh, I got one for Chi Chi. I, ha I don't have her in game yet, so I'm not that lucky for my 50. Unlucky for my 50 50s. Uh, but I do know I, I do know someone who would want this, so I will give that to uh, one of my friends. And then uh, God bless me with luck on uh, this one. So I got Ganyu. Got the Ganyu pen, so I'm keeping this one for sure. And that was it for the uh, Gotcha Machine pins. Alright, so I got a little, few more keychains uh, to go through, keychains slash pins, and by few I mean quite a bit, so let's get to the small stuff. Uh, so I got a couple um, couple pins from Eurocamp, one of my favorite animes. So this one's a little special, uh, it's a crossover with the Sanrio character, so there's a cinnamon roll uh, hanging out with uh, Reen with one of the characters from your account. Uh, that was, I thought this was a really great pen, so I got that one. I got a pen of Nadeshko, who's uh, Alex's favorite character from your account, so I got the pen for him. 
I got a character from one of the gacha machines for Blue Archive, one of the gacha games that I play, so I got one of Bunny Carnage. She's my one of my favorite characters from the game, so I was pretty blessed with that luck there. Uh, so I got a few pins from Ozerlane, another uh, gacha game that I play. So we will open those ones up. Alright, so I got uh, pins of the Fox uh, sisters from Ozerlane, so Akagi and Kaga in their uh, New Year's uh, skins. I got a pin of uh, Belfast in her wedding skin, also from Azerlane. And I got an Emma, which I didn't expect to get. Um, so Emma are normally seen uh, in traditional Japanese shrines as a way for the people to write down their wishes and then they hang them up. Uh, and another... So that's based off of that, so I have a Emma of, an Emma of Helena. Uh, in her New Year's outfit. Uh, I got a few more pins of uh, some characters that I won't uh, name because, uh, let's be real, no one watches this anime in 2023. Uh, if you know, you know. Amazing. Uh, other than that, uh, that covers all the small stuff. Uh, so let's go over some of the larger or other miscellaneous goods that I got. So this one's not exactly anime related, but I figured I'd just mention it. I got a, uh, a cat designed hand towel. Um, so if you haven't been to Japan before, and dryers, hand dryers in general, don't really exist. Um, normally uh, Japanese people have their own hand towels that they bring along with them everywhere, so if you go wash your hands in a public restroom, they will just use their hand towels after washing their hands. So I got one of this uh, cat design uh, from, I believe, Kagoshima. So I figured I'd just get one early on in the trip and then use it for the rest. So I got this from the aquarium. I got two uh, cleaning cloths. So the first design is, of course, the whale shark. As for the other design, I can't go home uh, without getting some penguin merchandise as well. So we got some cute penguins, uh, microfiber cleaning cloths. So, uh, if you didn't know, I went to a baseball game in Fukuoka. Uh, we sat in the VIP seats, uh, which is uh, the more expensive uh, seating area since it's more of a luxury uh, viewing experience since you're on the ground floor and you get put in some really comfortable seats. Uh, it also came with a complimentary hat, which I didn't really expect, so that's pretty cool. So it says SH here. Um, with Coca-Cola as the main sponsor. The SH stands for the SoftBank Hawks, so that was the home team uh, that we were watching. So yeah, that was a pretty cool experience overall, so I'm glad we got a souvenir from that. It also came with a little uh, mystery box. Uh, I don't know what's in here. I, I haven't opened it yet, but I kept it this whole time uh, so I could unbox it in this video. So let's see what's inside. Oh, wow. It's, oh, I, I didn't expect this. So it's a glass um, display of the uh, of the stadium. <laughs> I'll get a close-up shot of that. Close-up shot of that. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, so it says double anniversary um, for the dome and the SoftBank Hawks. So that's pretty cool. I mean, if you're paying a bunch of money uh, for the VIP seats, might as well give me as much merchandise uh, to complement it as well. All right, so that's that was those are the freebies that came with the VIP seating experience. Then. Okay, so I have a few more miscellaneous uh, anime merchandise, so I'll quickly go over those. 
then I'll switch over to something different. Alright, so the first thing we got here was, yet again, quite another unexpected purchase. Uh, but I got a shower curtain. Yeah, I, I didn't think they would have anime, or shower curtains of uh, things I would care about. So let's open this one up. Alright, so this is a shower curtain uh, with a design based on uh, an Azerline Azerline character uh, Takao in her swimsuit uh, skin. Okay, it's pretty. It's pretty big. <laughs> I'm not sure if this will actually fit on camera. Um, uh, oh man, that's. Uh, I'm not sure if this is actually wide enough to fit in my shower. Uh, we'll we'll figure this out later. two gaming pads, or uh, playing pads, of Genshin. Alright, so this is the pad for Raiden Shogun. Oh, and Kokomi as well. I thought this was a really cool design, so I got this one. I'll probably use this on my, uh, my gaming setup, or my normal work setup. So there's that. This one's pretty pretty good as well. So I have two uh, gaming pads for Genshin characters. Oh, the shadow's in the background as well. I didn't see that. So I thought that was pretty cool. I'd be good at that. And then I got two uh, books. Uh, the first one is the official artwork book for our Blue Archive, one of the gacha games I'm currently playing. I got the fifth anniversary art collection for Azure Lane as well. Okay, so that covers it for the other miscellaneous anime slash gaming goods. I'll move on to the foods. Uh, most of the food, food I got was either from souvenir shops across the country or the Don Quixote, which is just really good for overall souvenir shopping and getting foods uh, tax-free to take home. Uh, so let's go through the miscellaneous goods. I won't unbox them here since most of these are for other people, um, but I'll show footage of the foods when we consume them. Specific, specifically my family. Uh, so this box here, I'm just trying to remember what these are. Okay, so this is the Momiji uh, from Miyajima Island by Hiroshima. It's kind of just hard to describe what these are if you haven't had them before. When we were at Miyajima, we had deep fried Momiji, which is like a small pastry with like red bean, custard, chocolate filling. Uh, it's really sweet and honestly one of the best desserts you could ever have in Japan. Uh, so I brought some back to share with the family. Uh, I'll show footage of us eating some right now. Alright, so we have the Momiji specialty um, snacks from Miyajima Island. I got the souvenir box when I was there. So we have four flavors. We have chocolate, we have cream, uh, matcha, uh, regular red bean, and smooth red bean. So let's uh, open this up. Oh, that's nice packaging. Ooh, there we go. Uh, oh, here are all the flavors. So I picked the the ones that I liked personally when I tried them. So well, here you go. You can take a look. Yeah. Uh, okay, so there's three of each. There's the chocolate one. Got the cream. 
got the matcha, the regular red bean, and the smooth red bean. Cool. All right, I'll I'll take the matcha one and try it. This matcha is my favorite. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this looks like exactly the momiji I had, except not deep fried this time. Yeah. I'll try that out. See the filling. Wow, deep. Deep matcha. It's tasted just as good as the deep fried one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I bought this. Really? Nice. Mm -hmm. okay. I got a few specialty food items from Kagoshima. So right here we have some uh, shaved ice chocolate flavor. I'm not really sure. I just thought the design was cute, so I got got that. So we're gonna be opening this. Um, hold on, this is not Parker. This is his sister, and we are going to unbox the crunchy chocolate flavored Shirokuma shaved ice from Kagoshima. There we go. This up, and they're little snack bars. And that's what they look like. cracker. Let's see. It tastes like a Rice Krispie square mixed with like a, a wafer. Like those chocolate, strawberry, like those types of, of snacks. Like it's a mix. It's really good though. Uh, apparently, Kagoshima spe specialize in potatoes, and I, I had no idea. Like, no one goes to Kagoshima. Um, so I figured we'd try some of the sweet potato uh, goods as well. Okay, here are the potato snacks. So let's open this. Ooh. They're all individually wrapped. Little potato biscuit things. Inside is literally potato, I think. Or it tastes like red bean. Or like it actually tastes like sweet potato or something. I don't know. This is what it looks like. It's really yummy. Alright, um, so at the airport, you can get some pretty good uh, souvenirs to take home, or food souvenirs specifically to take home uh, tax-free as well. Um, so I got some Hokkaido uh, chocolate uh, biscuits uh, to share with the family and some co-workers, so uh, I'll have footage of that too. Uh, this, If something's from Hokkaido and it's a sweet, there's a very good chance that it'll be very, very good. Hokkaido just has some of the best, like, sweets in the world, so can't go wrong here. Alright, so it looks like most people enjoyed the Hokkaido sweets that I got from the airport. Undoubtedly, 
these are very good sweets, so I'm just gonna try one myself since all the sweets that I brought to the office were basically gone by noon, so I'm happy to see that people like them. All right, so this is what it looks like. Got a white biscuit with uh, chocolate in it. Let's try it out. Oh man. I've actually had these before. My dad got them a while ago and these were, these are really delicious and just, just as good as I remembered. Okay, let's move on to the Don Quixote uh, souvenir foods that I got. So on the one really rainy day uh, where Tony and I were stuck inside our Airbnb in Kyoto, we just, um, we did a little snack testing, uh, taste testing video and one of the things that we ended up trying what were these Kalbi, or not Kalbi, Oikea uh, plum chips. And these were by far the best snack that we had uh, in that video. So much so that we basically ate the entire bag <laughs> immediately. Uh, and we just bought a bunch more for ourselves because these were so dang good. Uh, so I got like, I got four bags of these so I could share them with some friends and get one for myself. So I'm a pretty big fan of matcha, so I try to get uh, as many matcha goods as I can. So I got some uh, matcha chocolate biscuits here. I haven't had these specific uh, kinds before, so I'm excited to try that out later. Uh, I got some limited edition Sakura matcha Pocky, and I got some typical Kit Kat, uh, so I got the milk tea flavor here. I got the matcha flavor. Like you can get these at TNT. Uh, like these, this specific one uh, can is pretty common uh, even in North America. It's just a little bit more expensive here. Um, but I figured I'd just pick up the package anyways. So I got two of each for those. I also picked up the sake one, which is actually pretty good. I, uh, the sake one is really good for uh, even people who don't like the drink itself. The Kit Kats are still a solid choice. So that. Um, I believe these are Sakura flavored cookies. I'm not entirely certain to be honest. I just, uh, well, since we were there during Sakura season, I just get anything related to that. And so there's a couple boxes of those. Uh, here's some Hokkaido cheese Castellas. Uh, since it's Hokkaido, I just had to get it and it's probably going to be very good. Uh, we've got another Pocky flavor of a... Oops. Oh, Tokyo Amazake. Um, I, I, I might have to fi uh, fact check myself, but I believe it's just fermented... Um, this is the fermented sake, I believe, so. And finally, we got more Hokkaido chocolates, um, black and white specifically, so there's that. All right, so that covers um, all of the food that I got from Japan. Uh, honestly, I wish I could have got more. I was just running low on luggage space due to the figures that I will now be unboxing. This is where most of the budget went for the Akihabara spending a hundred thousand yen. So that was, these were the majority of it. So I got three figures in total, which isn't a lot, but they do take up a lot of space and they're super expensive, uh, but they're worth it for me. I have the Mona scale figure by uh, Wonderful Works. I, uh, I did damage the box a little bit uh, on the way. Uh, that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So this was going for market price, but I get it tax-free in Japan. So it, the price was a little lower, so it said... Uh, so this here says 19,800 yen. I got this for 10% off because I don't pay for taxes. So this, this was technically below market price for me, and it's brand new and open, so I had to get it. So let's just uh, slowly unwrap this and get to the final figure. There we go. Okay. 
All right, so that's the that's the completed Mona figure. I'll have a close-up shot of that. Um, all right, so let's moving on to the next figure. Another Genshin Impact character. So I got the Ganyu from Ami Ami uh, in Akihabara. She, I got super lucky with this one. Uh, I got her on the Sunday uh, when all the streets were closed and the most amount of people were there. I looked at this, there were s I think six copies of her. Uh, I figured I'd get her at the end of the day so I didn't have to carry around a big box. And thankfully I did go back because this was the only copy left. Uh, at the at this price point. So I saw her multiple times throughout Akihabara selling for upwards of 30,000. All right, so let's unbox Ganyu. I'm not sure if this was just in if this came with all of the Ganyu figures, but uh, it came with a complimentary uh, clear file which I won't complain about since it came with the figure, but It is a clear call, so I'm not entirely sure what to do with that. <laughs> oh, the material feels different for this one. This feels very premium. Uh, well, this is a very nice clear file, actually. Okay, I'm glad this one uh, specifically came with the figure, because this one's actually pretty nice. As for the figure itself, uh, I think I... Okay, so the box is... Definitely not perfect, but still pretty good considering how I packed it. <laughs> okay, let's let's open up the figure now. Uh, there's an Easter egg in uh, Ganyu's box where there's an extra footstool um, for her, and this is so you can attach it to Ning Wang scale figurine, which I will have a picture for right here, um, so they can be uh, used together. Uh, I don't. I think I will ever get Ningguang's um, scale figurine. One, because I don't, uh, I don't care too much about her character in general, and two, the, her, her Ningguang figure alone is very expensive. Although I'm going to be opening up one that's about the same price as it, but we'll, 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 don't worry about that detail. Uh, okay, so this is uh, I have completed Ganyu's scale figurine. I am really happy with this purchase. Yeah, I have two scale figurines uh, for Genshin Impact. Okay, so that leaves us with the final figurine for the video that we have here is Azur Lane's uh, one seven scale figure of HMS Formidable by Alter. So. It is well known in the figure community uh, that Alter has one of the bestly sculpted uh, scale figurines in the market. I completely agree with this, that's why um, their prices are a little bit higher. Um, but this this is one of the best figures like Azerlane has like in general. Uh, I, I, this barely fit in my luggage, like this was like to the, to the brim, there's no space to spare. So let's unbox this one. I need to use more space and bring this to the coffee table to complete this entirely. Also because there's some freestanding parts of the figure that will be too hard to put on this table. So I'm gonna separate that out uh, right now. Okay, so I just finished um, putting together the HMS Formidable figure. Uh, this took some time to get used to, uh, but it's completed now, so let's take a look. Um, so I have, we have like paper, not paper, but we have the planes on the side. I added in the turrets on her rigging. Uh, I can see why this was such an expensive figure because the amount of detail and sculpting that went into this is absolutely insane and definitely the highest quality figure that I now have. All right, so that's everything for this unpacking slash unboxing video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got to see all of this. <laughs> I got to experience all of the stuff that I got. And I hope um, to see you guys next time.